So like always, we have a very clutch render of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 coming in from Woolick HD, who has also shown us off the Z Fold 3, the Surface Zero 1, Surface Zero 2 concept. So he is not new on creating 4K renders. And like always, this man has hit it out of the park. So this is his render for the Z Fold 4, which you guys are... If you guys don't remember what the Z Fold 3 looks like, this is what the Z Fold 3 looks like. It is an absolutely gorgeous phone. And exactly with what we kind of expected with the Z Fold 4, is he's saying it's going to look very, very similar to the Z Fold 3. The only real big difference is going to be no camera grill on the back here. And he also, of course, has, I believe, being everything else exactly the same. The flash unit is changing to the right-hand side here. Now, interestingly enough, it looks like he does not have what is rumored to be on the Z Fold 4, which is a pen silo. So what we saw recently was there was a rumor that there's going to be a pen silo on the Z Fold 4 on the right-hand side so that you can always have your S Pen on you at all times. So... It looks like based on this render that there's not going to be a pen silo, which to be honest, I'll say a million times. I really think there should not be. I think it'd be pointless to have a pen silo. If anything, just add more functionality to the device, make it maybe a little bit lighter, thinner, whatever the case. Don't add a pen silo. I just don't want really to see a big, big reason to add that to this device. Now, I've said this before and I've said it again, you know, Z Fold 3 is one of the most perfect complete phones you could possibly have on the market right now the only difference you could really add would be what the oppo Find 5g has which of course is a bigger outside display uh but if you do that then you're gonna make the back of the phone you make the whole entire phone bigger and thicker so it's just really you know it's not really anything else you can do and i feel like we're now getting to a point with the surface zero 2 and the z fold 3 where all you're really doing at this point is becoming a software updated, you know, device every single year. And, and also it's like the processor, maybe adding more gigabytes of RAM, maybe adding a more updated processor. Outside of that, there's not much more we're going to see on these devices moving forward. And this render is kind of exactly what I expected to see out of, you know, a render for the Z Fold 4. Now, at looking at this at face value, again, like I said, we don't know the dimensions that he's putting for this device. Now, he does still have a crease down the middle on this, you know, Galaxy Z Fold 4. That's something to be really interested about. The reason why is because the, Z, the Oppo Find 5G has no crease down the middle. And the thing a lot of people hate about this phone is that crease down the middle, which you can see right here on my screen. That crease is massive. And that's something a lot of people hate about the Z Fold 4 is of course Z Fold 3 is that crease down the middle. So if the Z Fold 4 comes out and we do not see my, um, Samsung try their best, at least try their best to get rid of that crease completely, especially if Oppos can do it pretty well, and that's going to be a, a lost opportunity, and that's going to be make a lot of people upset. I'll definitely tell you right now, you know, that crease is a huge reason why people do not buy the Z Fold 3. Yes, the end of display being less durable does attract, you know, or distract a lot of people, but it's also going to be that crease down the middle. That's a huge, huge, huge anti z fold 3 you know thing people always say is like listen i love the phone i think the phone's cool and everything but the number one is the outside display is too small number two is the screen durability inside is too small and it has to be that crease down the middle right there at a solid number three so if they can get rid of that i think it'll be a definitely w but other than that, though, I can't really see them ever going toward the Oppo Find 5G route and making the outside display bigger, uh, especially to a point where it's more like a clamshell phone. The reason why I say that is because that is real, what really separates the Z Fold 3 from the competition and now Z Fold 4 is the design of the phone. And, you know, some people really hate the design of this phone. I know my girlfriend included, she hates this phone. She, every time I show this phone off, she's like, it's the ugliest cell phone I've ever seen in my life. And a lot of people do say that. Some people love the design. I love the design personally. I think it's amazing. You can always use it one hand, just so I'm doing right here, just going ahead and flipping it around. 
uh but there are some people who hate the design of this phone and the main reason why is because again that outside display is so small that they just like i can't do it um you know i saw some uh rumors or some you know ideas pending if you make the outside when you have a phone you can pull you open like this right and if you go ahead and let's say i touch the screen actually i think i have it off right now but if you go ahead and have a display go across the whole entire thing where when you do have it uh, open completely you can have a display in the front or display in the back and you can continue watching with a grill glass victus to look in the back that's another thing of course you would have a hinge down the middle though so there are ideas on how to fix it or how to change it up make it a little bit different but i definitely will say um you know for the amount of people who bought the z fold 3 and again z fold 4 is projected to sell 10 million units i don't think samsung needs to really fix something that isn't broken at this moment in time i think they just need to go ahead and you know lower that price tag and how much will they lower that price tag going into you know our this next cycle that would determine a lot and at 1700 dollars, it's really hard to justify the z fold 4 now with the surface zero 2 being 250 dollars less now being at 1250 then you have z flip 3 that is 999 dollars then you have surface zero 1 it's like 300 dollars it's really as time goes on here with seeing that price tag of the 1700 for the z fold 3 really and now z4 4 to be probably 17 1800 dollars was seeing such a price you know gap where before with the surface duo 2 when it was like 1600 dollars okay you know it's in that ballpark range but the closer we get to the bigger gap the more we i just kind of want to see this phone come out at like 1500 dollars but I know at this moment in time, we're probably not going to see that for the Z Fold 4. And we're probably just going to see the same old price tag range of $1,700 for the Z Fold 4. Z Fold 3 will probably drop down $13, maybe $12, $1,300. And it'd be in that kind of ballpark range. So when the Z Fold 4 comes out, I'm telling you right now, the move is going to be to pick up the Z Fold 3. It definitely is going to be the move. And the reason why is because of how much cheaper the Z Fold 3 is going to get once this phone does go ahead and drop. And there's not even a question in my mind about that. I love the idea of Z Fold 4 and hopefully it does have a better battery life. But it's just simply not going to be the move when the Z Fold 3 is going to be very, very similar to this phone. If not a carbon copy of this phone. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I know a lot of you guys watch my content picked up the z4 3 recently i saw a lot of comments recently i uh, people picked up a z4 3 after watching my review and a lot of people love the phone so definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions will you be picking up the z4 4 or this or will you pick up the z4 3 or you're gonna rock with your z4 3 right now i'm probably gonna be rocking with i'll pick up z4 4 for the channel i don't know how long i'll keep it for it just because again like i said i have to see how i like it if it's really a true upgrade we'll keep it if it's such a cosmetic upgrade, we'll probably just go ahead and scrap it. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys next one. Peace out.